Hi everyone, my name is Katie, voice and piano instructor at LB Music School. Um, if you caught my last couple of videos, I briefly explained how to find middle C and how to play a basic C chord on the piano. So today we're going to do a quick review of that, but then I'm also going to show you a couple of additional chords that look very much like the C chord. Um, so we're going to review our finger numbers, we're going to learn, we're going to review the C chord, and then we're going to learn the G chord, the A minor chord, and the F chord. All right, stay tuned. You're about to play some of your favorite songs. Okay, now quick review of the hands and the finger numbers. We have five fingers on each hand, right? One, two, three, four, five, right? Thumb is one, pinky is five. We're gonna be using finger numbers to explain these chords, where to place them on the keyboard. Um, we're also going to really quickly review where middle C is and we're gonna go from there. So here we are back at my trusty keyboard and today we're just gonna be using the right hand. That's all we need for now. Um, so let's take our right hand again, kind of pretend you're holding that tennis ball. Your fingers are curved like that. Flip it over and rest them where you learned where middle C was last time. So where's middle C again? You have those two notes, or two black keys, I'm sorry, and that first white key to the left is your middle C. Now, as a review, we build our C chord off of middle C using every other finger, finger one, finger three, finger five, which of course is C, E, G. So the beauty of this is that you only have to know seven alphabetical letters in the musical alphabet, right in a row. So we have A, B, C, D, E, F, and G in music. Guess what, when we get to G, we just start over at A. That's all you do. So we've just played C, E, G, right? Now if I play these in a row, C, D, E, F, G, alphabetically, what note is that? That's A, right? Remember, we start over A, B, C, D, E, and so on. So let's go back to our C chord. Now I want you to find F, this one right here. Our finger number four is resting on F, so what I want you to do is shift your hand up so that your thumb is resting on F. See how the F is to the left of these three black keys? Now, let's do the same thing we did with the C chord. We're gonna play every other finger, one, three, five. What are those notes? F, A, C. One, three, five. There's your F chord. Look, you just learned a new chord. Now let's shift one up again. Guess what? G. Let's play every other finger. One, three, five. G, B, D. There's your G chord. Okay, what do we have so far? We have our C chord. Go up to F right here. There's our F chord. And then G. Boy, I'm already hearing a song in here. Are you? I can think of a few. Okay, so one more. I wanna show you one more and that's our A minor chord. We'll get into why they're called um, minor chords in another video. I'm just telling you the name of it right now just so you know what it's called. So we're gonna shift up again. So here's G. Remember we start over at A, so here's A. A, C, E. Every other note. One, three, five. There you go. Notice how we're playing all white keys right now? So we have, it's a pattern, folks. So we have C chord, F chord, G chord, and there's your A minor chord. You have now learned four chords today, folks. You'd be amazed at how many songs you can play with four chords. So in upcoming videos, I am going to show you how you can apply these four chords that you just learned um, to some of your favorite songs. And I think you'd also be surprised at how many songs you are actually able to play with just these four chords. So stay tuned. Thank you for joining me, and I really look forward to seeing you again to show you these new songs that you're going to be playing as a professional in no time. See you soon.